combine all the other rocky planets plus the moon and put it in the habitable zone? Will we get another Earth? That's a good question. I don't think so, personally, because Venus is going to be the main object here, and that is going to be a lot of greenhouse. So let's go ahead and press play in this simulation. So we've got Mercury, Mars, and the Moon all going into Venus here. There it is there. Loads of material all smashing into Venus, but Venus still stays as the dominant object, so it's just picking up extra material from the others, and it still is going to keep that high surface pressure that it already has. So let's go ahead and see. If we plop it in the Hatable Zone in our solar system, will this Venus last? Okay, so I'm going to replace Earth with our new Venus here. So Venus 2.0 is what I've called it. Let's go ahead and plop that in. There we are. Okay, so it's now in orbit of the sun. Currently sitting at 452 from its collisions in the previous simulations. So let's go ahead and now see. Will this Venus cool down or will it warm up at the Earth's distance from the sun? Here we go. So it is cooling down, but how low would it go? Okay, so cooling down into the 300s, high, low 300s, 319. Is it going to get any lower? No, it looks like it's sticking at 318, 319. We're orbiting the sun. 40 years a second right now. Very, very quickly. Looks like that's it. Yeah, Venus doesn't want to drop any lower than 319. Okay. Now, why is that? Let's go have a look at its surface pressure. Let's see. And yeah, as we can see, with all those collisions, Venus is still the prime object. 93 atmosphere pressures of Earth. So... The greenhouse effect here is still way too high, even with the collisions of the other objects changing the uh, composition a bit. This Venus is still just a little cooler than the normal Venus. 